The Sukhoi company collaborated with the Komsomolsk on Amur Aircraft Production Association to develop the Su-80, a multi-purpose cargo passenger aircraft. The Su-80 is a versatile aircraft that is capable of performing a variety of functions, such as medical evacuation, environmental monitoring, and aerial photography, in addition to being primarily designed for carrying passengers and cargo. This aircraft is notably known for its short takeoff and landing capabilities, which enable it to access smaller airfields that may not be suitable for larger aircraft. The aircraft was meant for local and regional airlines and was designed to carry up to 30 passengers over a distance of up to 1,300 kilometers. Since its maiden flight on September 4, 2001, the Su-80 has garnered recognition for its operational efficiency and robust design. Its twin-boom configuration improves its equilibrium during flight. Two General Electric CT-79B turboprop engines, each generating approximately 1,750 horsepower, propel the aircraft. This configuration of the power plant not only generates substantial thrust, but also contributes to the aircraft's exceptional performance metrics. The serial production was launched in 2005. By way of specifications, the Su-80 is 18.26 meters in length and has a wingspan of 23.17 meters. The aircraft can accommodate up to 30 passengers in a single-class configuration or transport a payload of up to 3,300 kilograms due to its maximum takeoff weight of approximately 14,200 kilograms. The cabin optimizes its dimensions for passenger and cargo convenience, measuring 2.17 meters in width and 1.82 meters in height. Therefore, there is sufficient space for both with the Sukhoi Su-80 is capable of a maximum speed of 470 km per hour and a cruising speed of approximately 430 km per hour in terms of performance. It is capable of operating at altitudes of up to 7,600 meters and has a range that is contingent upon the payload. With passengers, it can travel up to 1,400 km, while with a lighter cargo load, it can extend to 2,450 kilometers. These capabilities render it appropriate for a variety of operational scenarios and regional air routes. The Su-80 is equipped with sophisticated avionics systems that optimize flight control and navigation. The integrated avionics suite includes systems for monitoring aircraft performance and guaranteeing safety during operations. The Su-80 is a good fit for missions in remote locations due to its ability to operate autonomously from unprepared airfields for extended periods, which is facilitated by such technological integration. The Sukhoi Su-80's adaptability is one of its most noteworthy advantages. Numerous aircraft variants exist, each designed to fulfill specific missions. While the Su-80GP serves as a general-purpose transport aircraft, the Su-80PT variant equips it for patrol duties and can carry additional surveillance equipment. Another variant, the Su-80TD, is a military transport aircraft that is capable of transporting either cargo or paratroopers. For the GP version, taking into account the Russian specifics, the Su-80GP's creators incorporated several technical solutions that ensure autonomous basing and operation of the aircraft. A cargo ramp in the tail section of the fuselage, removable roller tracks, and a winch allow for mechanized loading and unloading operations. The twin boom configuration of the aircraft with a U-shaped tail allows a forklift or a truck to drive directly up to the ramp. The left engine of the S-80 can operate in the power unit mode with the propeller braked, ensuring the operation of the aircraft systems without connecting to external sources. The rear ramp design simplifies the loading and offloading of cargo, thereby improving operational efficiency. This feature is especially advantageous in emergency response situations or humanitarian missions where prompt access to supplies is essential. Furthermore, the cabin's ample space enables the customization of configurations to meet the needs of the mission. The Sukhoi Su-80 aircraft encountered substantial obstacles in securing contracts on both a domestic and international scale, frequently losing out to competing aircraft. The Su-80's inability to secure tenders against other models is illustrated by a number of critical examples which underscore its challenges in a competitive market. One notable occasion, 
came during the Russian government's search for a successor for the aging Antonov An-24 and An-26 aircraft. The Antonov An-38 gave stiff competition to the Su-80. The An-38, also in short takeoff and landing aircraft, had comparable capabilities and a well-established operational history in addition to its demonstrated reliability. Consequently, the An-38 was the preferred choice of numerous Russian operators due to its proven support network and familiarity, which substantially hindered the Su-80's chances of success in domestic tenders. The Su-80 faced competition from established Western manufacturers in foreign markets. For example, the aircraft was frequently contrasted with models such as the Bombardier Q400 and Embraer EMB-120 Brasilia during discussions for regional transport contracts in a variety of countries. These aircraft's extensive service networks and customer support, along with their strong reputation, attracted potential purchasers. In comparison to these well-established alternatives, the Su-80 was less appealing due to its lack of demonstrated international operational experience. Once, Genady Litvinov, chief designer of JSC Sukhoi Design Bureau, stated that the price of the aircraft had been reduced by approximately half a million dollars, from US dollar 5.56 million to 5.5 million, during negotiations with three countries since its introduction, the aircraft has had a limited operational history, with only a handful of operators. Among these, Blagoveshchensk Airlines and Chukotavia were early adopters to use the aircraft for regional routes. Delavia and the Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky Aviation Enterprise also intended to integrate the Su-80 into their fleets. Polar Airlines also expressed interest in using the aircraft for regional services. Furthermore, Kazakhstan, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force, and numerous Southeast Asian Air Forces expressed interest in purchasing 10 units. However, these orders never materialized. As of January 2025, it appears that none of the Su-80 aircraft are currently operational, which is indicative of the more general obstacles associated with the aircraft's market viability. Reports indicate the delivery of eight Su-80 aircraft. Reports suggest that these eight aircraft did not perform any active duties and have a minimal operational history. Additionally, the Sukhoi Superjet 100 beat the Su-80 in terms of market focus. Sukhoi prioritized the promotion of the Superjet 100 for regional jet markets over the development and marketing of the Su-80. This strategic shift further restricted the Su-80's ability to effectively compete in tenders. Additionally, the Su-80 faced difficulties in obtaining contracts due to its dependence on Western avionics. Numerous interested parties were hesitant to adopt an aircraft that was dependent on non-Russian technology, as they were concerned about compatibility and support. This factor became increasingly important as geopolitical tensions escalated, prompting operators to opt for solutions that were entirely indigenous and could guarantee operational autonomy. There have been talks about making Russian systems that could replace Western parts in the Su-80. This is related to the future of Russian systems integration in aircraft. Nevertheless, this transition would necessitate a significant investment in research and development. Although there is potential for these enhancements to improve the aircraft's competitiveness and appeal in future tenders, no definitive plans have been announced. Now, do you think the Su-80 should be revived? If so, which segment will it be used for? Let us know in the comment. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.